Hello everyone, this is Ben and welcome back to the channel. With the upcoming release of Throne and Liberty from Amazon in October 2024, uh, region locks are in place as usual on Steam. So for those that wants to have a go at this game, you will have to bypass this region lock feature and this is what this video is all about. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how it, is, it can be done. Alright. So some orientation right here. On the left, you, uh, you can see the notepad um, that lists down all the steps that, require, uh, that you will be required to do to bypass the region lock. And it's also for you to navigate yourself uh, if you are somewhat lost in the steps. Okay. And then on the right is basically where I will show you all the visual cues. So before we begin, uh, one important thing to take note is that please ensure that you are logged out of your default Steam account. Uh, exit Steam and make sure Steam is not running in the background. Okay. So this is to prevent um, any implications along the line uh, while you are logging on to your any account. Okay. So first of all, uh, you will need to activate your preferred VPN and have it point towards uh, United connected to United States. Okay, as you can see right here, uh, I'm using Urban VPN, uh, not a promotion. Uh, so it's on USA. Okay. Next, um, head over to Steam website and create a NA Steam account uh, if you already don't have one. So the thing is to take note is that um, having an odd account is better to use your base account because in the event should a Ben Hammer come, uh, your base account is still safe. All right. So um, run through the Steam account creation process, and once you are done with the uh, account creation, just uh, exit the Steam website. All right. Before we proceed to the next step, just ensure that your VPN is still running in the background. Okay. And it's still connected to United States. All right. Once that this is done, start Steam and log on to your NA account. All right. Do take note that these steps may require you to repeat a few times as uh, due to the VPN in initialization with uh, Steam. Okay, so sometimes Steam has a, an issue identifying your IP address uh, via the VPN change. All right, so it might take a while to have to to connect to Steam uh, through VPN. And if any viewers has any bypass for this uh, or how to improve this to to reduce the amount of logins, uh, please leave in the comment so that everyone can learn from it. Okay, so once you are logged on to Steam, um, just check if Steam is still on your native currency or if it's already on US currency. All right, so as you can see right now, uh, mine is still on native currency. Uh, so you can see because I'm on I'm in Singapore and then uh, the steam is still reflecting uh, on sing dollars for all the products So what you can do is just uh, click on something and put it into cart that you can pay for Okay, once you are at the shopping cart uh, On the right side here where my cursor is next to country you can see a drop down Okay, so if you don't see this drop down, right? That means your VPN is not connected to, to United States. All right, so you have to log out entirely, shut down Steam, make sure Steam is not running in the background, and then you re-log in. Make sure you see this drop down. Okay, so basically you see this drop down, you are almost there, eighty percent done. All right, so once you see this drop down, just change it to United States. All right, it will prompt you that, and then yes, my billing is in United States. So once you change the country, all right, um, and then you'll see that everything is reflected in USD. Do a search for Throne and Liberty. All right, so key note to take here is when you, it appears under search, 
it should have this top uh, item as free. Okay, it should be indicating as free. That means you are done. All right. So what's the difference between the United States and any other uh, country that is region locked? All right. So let me change mine back to Singapore. And then I'll show you the difference. Okay. Next, I'll search for throne and liberty. And as you can see, under region locked areas, okay, there is no base game. You can only see the early access packs, okay, which is right what you're seeing here. Okay, so just change it back to United States. And right, search for the game. All right, so you see the base game which indicates F3, click on it, wish list, uh, follow, and then you can queue. Okay, so the next thing about the um, purchase of early access packs, if you are interested in purchasing the early access pack, my advice would be to purchase uh, Steam credits, or rather US dollar Steam credits, and then load into your account and purchase the early access pack. Uh, reason being because uh, using credit card might flag an abnormality on Steam itself and cause your account to be flagged. So the best way is to buy uh, US dollar Steam credits from your local vendor, uh, wherever you might be from. I'm sure you should have the avenue to do that. Um, if not, just leave in the comment. I'll see what I can do to help you search for it. All right. So basically, um, that's all for this video. And you have any questions, uh, please leave in the comments. I'll respond to you uh, and then provide with you a solution if I can find one. And if not, I hope I see you in Throne and Liberty for the launch. And I hope everyone have fun gaming. And stay fun, stay alive, and game. Alright, take care everyone. Bye.